going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 23 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to show you guys how to upgrade your most feared strategy items now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you were searching on youtube for much 23 content or maybe the video was recommended to you stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so if you're here watching this video it's probably because you were looking through the most feared field pass you went to objectives and saw this section here where it says to upgrade a most feared strategy item to tier 2 to tier 6 and to tier 10 so doing these things will earn you xp within the most feared field pass which by now hopefully you guys know gives you a bunch of free rewards including four free 89 overalls and one free 90 overall now over on my main channel we put out an entire video going over this entire field pass breaking down the rewards how to earn xp all of that good stuff so if you guys want to check out that video we will link it down below in the comment section as a pinned comment but again the purpose here on the second channel is quicker videos and in this one we're going to talk about upgrading the strategy item so number one how do you get these strategy items well if you look at your reward grid within the most feared field pass it's going to be at level two so it's a fairly quick one you're going to get this reward pretty easily and once you get the pack this is what it's going to look like. So you open it up, it's going to contain three different strategy items. And we'll talk about what exactly you use those on and what they do. But also there is a tip in there and it says you've earned a monster morph strategy item. This item can only be used in verse CPU modes and the field of fear. Now field of fear is the current house rules that we're in. So even though these say that they're only against CPU, they actually do work in head to head situations just not like weekend league or head-to-head -head seasons, things like that. Collect monster materials from winning in those modes to upgrade this item up to 10 times. And that's where those objectives come in, right? Because you got to upgrade one of these strategy items up to 10 times to max out the XP within that section of the field pass. So the three different strategy items are going to boost certain things, but also take away certain attributes on a card when using them. We have Monstrous Might, which is going to add to strength and power, but it takes away from agility and acceleration. Scary Speed is going to boost speed and running, but it decreases the player's size and strength. And then finally, we have the Towering Terror, which is going to increase height and catching, but take away agility and power. And basically, what you want to do is be powering up these strategy items. Number one, because they can make your players different, right? With those attributes affecting each individual player that they're tagged to. But mainly, we want to do this for the XP within the field pass. But if you go to any one of these three field passes, it's going to have an upgrade path similar to cards that we've seen all year long. And if you played Mutt 22, similar to Power Ups, you go into the card, hit R1 or right bumper on Xbox, go to upgrades, and you can see that you can place up to 10 items within this strategy item to upgrade it and again that's the name of what we're trying to do here that's the goal here so if you hit the upgrade button it's going to serve for these morph material collectibles it'll say select item from item manager if you have one and i happen to have three though i should really only have two and i'll explain that in a moment but basically we put one of these morph materials in there it's going to add to upgrade and now our card has been boosted plus one basically all three of these strategy items have 10 different tiers so you're going to need 10 different collectibles to boost boosted or upgraded all the way and take full advantage of the XP. Now, how do you get those collectibles to upgrade the strategy item? It's simple. You're just going to play through your solo challenges. So if we go to solos and we look, there's a most feared section and a dreams of dread. Now this is a little bit confusing and I don't know if it's just a typo on EA's part. I definitely reach out to them about this. If you look at the dreams of dread, it gives you monster materials. If you look at the most feared, it gives you morph materials. I don't know if that's just a typo or if they're actually supposed to be two different things but i tested both solos out and they're giving you the morph materials which you need to boost up or upgrade each tier on the strategy strategy item just like i showed you so i think these are giving the correct reward and if you look at the milestones you basically can get one two three 
all the way down to 10, 11, actually 14. So you can get 14 of these collectibles by playing through the solos. Now this is a multiple part promo. I don't think you can get 140 stars just yet. Maximum, it looks like you can get to 48. So you're gonna be able to earn more of those collectibles as the promo goes on, but you also have the Dreams of Dread. And if you take a look here, each tier milestone is gonna give you one of those collectibles as well. And there's another 15. So by my count there, you should get 29 collectibles which is actually kind of funny, right? Because you need to get to tier 10, which would mean you need 10 collectibles for each one, which would mean you need 30 for all three, but they're giving you 29. So I don't know if that's a mistake as well. We'll have to figure that out. But basically playing through the solos, getting the milestones is going to give you these collectibles that allow you to upgrade that strategy item. And going back to our field pass, you can see that we upgraded that strategy item to a tier one. If we go to tier two, it should knock out that first objective and give us 250 XP. So let's go ahead and do that. We went right back over to the item. We're going to go right to upgrade. This is now the tier two, and it's going to give us the choice of the two collectibles that we have left over. And boom, there is our second tier. Now, if you wanted to get those collectibles back, you can always go to refund. That will give you the collectibles, and then you can put them into one of the other strategy items if you choose to do so. We're just doing this one for testing purposes and to show you how to do it. Now, before we close out the video, one other quick thing I want to make you aware of, because right now I think it's a bug or a mistake, we have these monster makers which are essentially 86 overall cards and if you take a look at the players here under monster makers uh, Chase Claypool, Rasul Douglas, Zeke Elliott and Devin White basically you can get an 86 overall version of these players and then once you get that player you put them into your lineup and you knock out various objectives so for Chase Claypool 10 touchdowns, 40 receptions, 250 passing yards in a single game, and then 500 passing yards total. Once you complete each of these objectives, you're supposed to get a separate collectible that allows you to upgrade that player. So for Chase Claypool, the one collectible I should have earned right now would allow me to go from an 86 to an 87, and then when I knock out the other three objectives, I would go to an 86 to an 87, to an 87, to an 88, and an 88 to an 89. Unfortunately, these objectives are giving out the same morph materials that we are using to boost up the strategy items, and that's incorrect. So I actually have one of those strategy item boosting like collectibles, the morph materials right now. Remember I said earlier in the video I had one extra that I wouldn't really, really shouldn't have. Uh, these objectives at the end of the day are giving out the wrong collectible. EA is aware of it. I did report it to them. Hopefully by the time all of you are watching this video, it will be corrected. But at this point, it has not been corrected for me. And I'm also not sure what they're going to do for people who have finished objectives got the wrong collectible. I don't know if they're going to be able to send out the correct collectible to people, but it's just something I want to make you guys aware of. But in this video, again, we're just focusing on the strategy items and how to upgrade them. And I think we covered it all. So you're going to play through your solos or whatever you're going to do to level up your field pass. The level two reward is going to give you those strategy items. Then you go through and play the solos and earn those collectibles. You take the collectibles to upgrade the strategy items, get at least one to tier 10, and you can apply it into your roster by going to your lineup, going over to the strategy tier or section within the lineup, and then down to program. This is where you should be able to put in these collectibles. If you don't see them, there is a visual glitch sometimes where if you just sort by newest, they will pop up. They did pop up right for me with no problem. And if we wanted to go ahead and equip one of them, we would just simply do that. It's only going to affect your most feared players and it's only gonna be against the CPU and solos and solo battles. And then also the current house rules that we have going on right now. So there can be a little bit of cheese involved with these cards or with these strategy items equipped. Hopefully this video helped out. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.